Do you ever feel like you're not getting what you want out of your finances or relationships? In today's video, we're talking about the art of negotiation and how it can help you maximize your earnings and save you money like a pro. Did you know that negotiation skills can also be applied to relationships? That's right. Whether it's your significant other or a friend, knowing how to negotiate can lead to better communication and stronger connections. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Damon. This is the place where we talk about developing the mindset for financial success. And as always, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, here are the five tips for mastering the art of negotiation. Number one, research before entering into any negotiation. It's essential to do your homework and gather as much information as possible. This includes understanding the market value of what you're negotiating for, as well as any alternatives or backup options that you or the other party may have. Knowing your negotiating counterpart's interests and priorities can also give you an edge during the negotiation. And if all else fails, just remember Google is your best friend. This Google is a wonderful tool, Jinxie Cat. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're negotiating a salary for a new job. What do you want? One year salary with benefits. Before entering into the negotiating, you should research the industry standards for your position and level of experience. You should also consider your own financial needs and determine the minimum salary that you would accept. Additionally, it's important to consider any alternative job offers or backup options you may have. By doing all of this, by having all of this information, you can negotiate competently and increase your chances of getting a fair salary. Do we have a deal? I'll give you one more example. Imagine you're planning a date night with your significant other, but you can't seem to agree on where to go. Before entering into a negotiation, you should try to understand your partner's interests and priorities. Maybe they prefer Italian food, or maybe they want to try that new sushi place. I thought you liked sushi. Sushi! Sushi! By understanding their perspective and finding creative solutions like trying a new fusion restaurant that combines both cuisines, you can negotiate a date night that satisfies both of your desires. This is nice. This is nice. Move in here. Very sweet. Number two, set goals and limits. Defining your goals and limits is crucial before entering into any negotiation. What is the best outcome you hope to achieve? What is the minimum you are willing to accept? Having these boundaries in mind can help you avoid any concessions that could be detrimental to your interests. Here's an example. Let's say you're single and you're looking for a potential partner. Defining your goals and limits can help you avoid wasting time on people that don't align with your values or relationship goals. For instance, if you're looking for something long-term, long-term and committed, and your potential partner is looking for something like a casual fling, it's important to stick to your guns and not compromise on your goals and values. Number three, use effective communication. Clear and concise communication is the key to successful negotiation. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Make sure you understand your party's perspective and communicate your own goals and boundaries in a straightforward manner. Active listening and acknowledging the other party's points can help establish rapport and lead to a more favorable outcome. And remember, with the right communication skills, you can negotiate a way to a win-win outcome that benefits everyone involved. Hello, is there? Is the deal done? The deal could be done. Is it done? Show your cards. Okay. Full house. Oh, two aces and two twos. That's a deal. It's a deal. Number four, offer creative solutions. Sometimes the best way to reach a mutually beneficial agreement is to get creative. Think outside the box and come up with innovative solutions that meet both parties' interests. Brainstorming sessions can often lead to more creative and beneficial outcomes. And if you're feeling stuck, just remember with a little creativity, even the most challenging negotiations can turn into opportunities for growth and success. Number five, don't be afraid to walk away. Remember that you always have the option to walk away from a negotiation if the terms are not favorable. 
Knowing your Banta, best alternative to a negotiated agreement, can give you the confidence to walk away and pursue other options if needed. Sometimes walking away can also show the other party that you are serious and can lead them to offering more favorable terms. And if you're feeling hesitant to walk away, just remind yourself that there are always other opportunities around the corner waiting for you to seize them. So those are the five, but I've got one more thing for you that's very important. Dress for success. Your appearance can greatly impact how others perceive you during a negotiation. So it's important to dress professionally and appropriately. Make sure that your outfit is clean and well-fitted. Choose neutral colors and avoid flashy accessories or anything too revealing. By presenting yourself well, you can establish yourself as a credible and professional negotiator, which can increase your chances of success. Remember, you want to focus the other party's attention on your ideas and proposals, not on your outfit. We need to talk. There you have it, folks, the top tips for becoming a negotiating master and maximizing your potential. I hope you found these tips helpful, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content, and please leave a comment if you have a video or topic request. My name is Damon, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.